gotta say. Hey. Football back, yeah. Football back, football back. All I gotta say. Hi, this is Joe Daniel with FootballOffice.com. Today we're looking at the outside zone play. Uh, outside zone play we're gonna use to get around the edge against opponents here. It's a zone look, something that you'll definitely want to have if you're gonna be an inside zone team. You're gonna want to have this outside zone look as well. Look at how we're gonna block this. Uh, how we're going to implement this into our offense. So we're looking at the outside zone here from a from a, uh, a pro formation. Excuse me. Uh, looking at this from a pro formation here, where we've got the tight end over here on the right hand side. Mix this up a little bit. We have the tight end over there on the right hand side. Um, we can have any sort of formation that we want to the back side. Whether we want to get numbers over here, how we want to work. where we've got the three down linemen who are going to be slanting on the snap. We're going to have something backwards that we're going to need to pick up. Probably a cover three or a cover one look in the secondary. Our back is going to be taking this outside zone path. Quarterback's going to take the ball. He's going to give it to this guy right here. The tailback taking this outside zone path. Getting width. He's turning his shoulders. Getting upfield and looking to find the scene. We want this run to go outside, but if it doesn't, we've got a number of options that we can use here. First thing we've got up front, this is a zone blocking concept. We're going to bring our tight end to attack to this outside shoulder here. We want to get him to the outside shoulder. If we want extra bodies over here, we can motion him over. On the snap, he could be attacking the outside shoulder, getting to whatever we need to get to, how we need to get a numbers advantage out here. We're going to come off hard, stop clock this corner, get him taken care of outside. We've got to have active receivers who are really going to work hard to get in the way of those cornerbacks. Up front, the great thing about this outside, the outside zone play is it's the same for everybody. So if you're going to use this in an inside zone, your offensive lineman will know literally every position on the offensive line if they know these two plays. So we're going to work these two on these two as best we can. Really in the zone, it's going to get a little bit different on the stretch play, but we're going to hit this guy through his inside number, run through the inside number of that defensive end. In the 3-5-3, three, three, we know we've got slanters, so this thing's going to clear up really fast for us. We may not clear up as fast as an even front. If he slants outside and he stays on us as we try to attack that outside number and we're not able to rip off of him and go up to the next level, we'll stay with it. Backside, we've got a cover, uncovered step attacking to his shoulder. We're trying to overtake to his play side number. If we can bump off the tackle with the guard and overtake this play side number, then the guard's going to come up and pick up the next backer. With the speed that the backers are going at, it may end up actually being this backer coming over and this one being picked up by somebody else out here. It just depends on how fast they're going to flow with it. Same thing here, we're working through that play side number, uncovered step, trying to overtake. One of us is coming up and picking up the linebacker. And on the back side, uncovered step, and working up, trying to get to the next guy there. We don't really have to worry about him. He's not going to be our problem. So we're just going to rip through his face, make sure that he doesn't penetrate here, and then we're going to try to work up to this well linebacker. Backside backer is not a concern. We want to handle the frontside backer, who's our box player, by getting to his outside shoulder. If we get to his outside shoulder, then we're going to have room to run on the outside. However, if these guys are slanted and they're slanting hard, and we're able to handle a couple of them, we get fast moving here. We also have cutback lanes that are going to open up throughout the play. If this guy really widens hard, then we get the hook here. The lane may be inside more. It will sometimes hit that this will really flow hard outside, really flow hard outside, and the cutback's going to happen even all the way back to A gap. We will sometimes cut on the back side just so that these guys aren't any issue. We may cut a nose or a one technique so that if this cutback opens up, we can get through it. That's just another option we can use uh, in order to, to make the inside zone or the outside zone even more effective for us.
You can expand off of this play, do any number of things. Um, you can bring this guy, this extra blocker from anywhere, whether you want to work him from a split back look or you want to line him up in a tray formation out here. There's a number of things that you can do as a wing. There's a number of things you can do to get numbers and get a numbers advantage. You can also do a few things in order to make this more of like your zone read play as you could read out of the nose guard, uh, knowing that you should be getting this fast flow by the backers, your quarterback could be reading for some fast flow out of here, getting through the number here, and if we get that nose really coming hard, the quarterback can keep and come off the backside of these slanting backers, or off these flowing backers. So you've got another option there if you want to add a read element into this play. Also, you can work a number of play action passes off of this, taking advantage of the fact that these backers are really going to be flying out of there. Outside zone is a fantastic play, simple to install, one that if you get it going, it can be really, really good for your football team. I hope you'll stop by footballoffense.com and take a look at all that we have to offer there. Uh, we have uh, sign up for our free newsletter there, and we're going to be able to get you tons of information as the site grows, be able to get you more offensive information, all more offensive plays, so that you can score points down the road and really build a dominant there. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Football's back. All the lies on me. Man, you can picture me scoring, scoring. Football's back. Catch me running and throwing.